Osiri mine in Western Kenya is home to about 3,000 small-scale miners who risk their lives searching for gold. The operations are largely unregulated and miners use toxic mercury to extract the gold despite the known health risks. Lenny Rivaga reports. 24-year-old Fred Visengi looks for gold in ore he extracted from a nearby mine. The tools of his trade, mercury, water and a metal bowl. He has been doing this for the past four years, earning about $100 per month. Bisengi knows the mercury is dangerous. The government has not provided an alternative way of extracting gold or any other chemical. If we got a solution from the government, we would be in a better position to help improve our extraction methods. Side effects of handling mercury include damage to the brain, liver and lungs. I cannot stop mining because this is how I earn my living. If I stop working, where will I go? I have to mine even if it's harmful to my health. I have no choice. Artisanal or small-scale mining is illegal in Kenya, but the ban is rarely enforced, nor are work conditions regulated. Injuries are common as miners can lack even helmets and boots. David Maganya, the founder of the NGO I Hope, says he is making little headway in training miners on safety measures when it comes to mercury and other risks. The challenge comes in terms of affordability. Uh, like we talk about they have to use the personal protective equipment, that is the, the nose masks, the gloves and all that. It is difficult for them to afford this one on a continuous basis. Legalizing artisanal mining could be a first step to improvement. A bill to regulate both large and small scale mining is before parliament. One, licensing. They need to be licensed so that they know where to go. Secondly, they need to be, there needs to be land use plan for the areas and identification of the uh, spots that they can specifically go to do their mining uh, from these places. This is wealth that is available and they should be able to get it. The miners formed a labor union four years ago to advocate for protective gear and support for miners disabled or injured on the job. The union is trying to partner with a German organization to obtain the gear at a reduced cost. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Osiri, Kenya.